so ego and intellect in order to attain in the hermetic system uh, the um, ego and the intellect must be controlled because they restrict one from contacting higher self it is uh, this true self that is able to see and perform things on a more sublime nature realize that both the universe and man defy rational explanations I mean, you or any other person cannot really analyze the universe in the microcosm or the macrocosm. It is above intellectual perception, but not above our sensitive, intuitive perceptions. It can only be described by multidimensional experience individually. Uh, no one can explain why exactly the laws of science exist. Yet, science attempts to intellectualize how the universe was formed, and some theories continue to just become more and more absurd because they're based on misconceptions. You continue working on a particular premise, and it doesn't matter how sound your logic is, if the premise is flawed, your, your conclusion is probably not going to work out. Mm. So, although science is sure it can prove empirically, intellectually, rationally, for example, that man evolved from other animals, you cannot find a missing link to definitively prove it. Um, so, you know, where did it go when, when everything else fits so, so neatly? They can always explain the phenomenon of how certain elements came together to form life. They cannot re reproduce the process exactly, although the physical combinations are easy to analyze. It's only just recently that scientists seem to be recognizing this missing element of spirit. Uh, for lack of a better word. Um, so these are, are mysteries that cannot be rationalized by the mind. Um, Freud calls the act of creating an answer or principle when um, some of the data is missing. Freud calls that a projection. Um, the willingness to overcome obstacles in order to make spiritual progress is necessary for um, sincere seekers. Um, you must not let go well, you, know, you must let go of attachments that harbor fear of the unknown or self-created answers for which um, for which for the unknown such answers become obstacles later um, because they are mistaken for knowledge and reality instead of recognize um, that they stem from the ego or intellect or the mind um, so, Letting go of such attachments are not really sacrifices at all. They, they liberate the trapped soul, spirit, mind, self that settles for existence instead of life. Humans are conditioned to modify their will to the standards of others, the standards of organizations, to a certain way of life or a lifestyle. Um, an acceptable illusion of what is considered to be fulfilling and the restrictions that are believed and accepted into reality. Um, ego illusion is, is the enemy of, of the wizard. Though this may sound really, really philosophical, it is purely practical because making a mistake on this path can be fatal or, or injurious. Um, the mistake can be of confusing human emotional experience for the divine ultra-human experience. Although each has its proper place, the belief that the student can determine this without guidance is, is somewhat arrogant. Um, thus, in a true learning process, the seeker is taught to think for himself and must choose to either learn to understand your own thoughts and emotions or believe that your perception to distinguish reality without being affected by prejudices, likes, fears, and whatnot is, is enough. Um, the seeker is always given the chance within certain limitations to experiment to find out if what you know is true or false 
With, with guidance, the seeker learns to distinguish. One is ready to learn when one can put aside preconceived notions of what reality is. This requires unconditional humility and humbleness on the part of the seeker concerning reality and what you think, you know, everybody walks around thinking they have a handle on what's going on. And based on these beliefs that are held within, you will continue to manifest that reality based on those beliefs. If you have a belief that something is what it is, every time you confront it, that is how you see it. So, once the seeker has mastered one set of forces, then you can further um, work forward. And then it comes down to this idea of sacrifice. Sacrifice is divesting oneself of that which restricts the will. So not really a sacrifice as you know it. Sacrifice which restricts the will rather than acting to free it is of course, that is, that is what you want to get rid of. That is what you want to let go of. Let go of beliefs and that which holds you, held you back into the reality which you exist in. The divine sacrifices can only be dispensed by one's teacher who knows what is constructive and destructive to the student from a point of self-honesty and um, non-judgment. And usually no two seekers have the same thing to sacrifice. Each, each approaches the ladder and the rungs, but those rungs are defined differently for each of us, though we are all at this juncture on the sixth, approaching the sixth or overcoming the sixth rung of our ladder in this life now that we are in, that you are in, that we are sharing. Um, in the midst of the most difficult spiritual exercises even and tests, the seeker must be receptive to new experiences and be able to see and know and recognize the experiences for what they are and the synchronicities and by recognizing one set of synchronicities therefore falling in with or opening to another and that is how you will ultimately receive uh, magical gifts.